good afternoon good evening to all of you depending on which part of the world you are let me add my word of welcome after the young lady who welcomed all of you to this first foundation day round table of marvin king academy of sustainable development in asia organized by asian center for corporate governance and sustainability special welcome to marvin king and all the panel speakers and contributors and the participants marvin i must confess i am overwhelmed with the response to this round table on sdgs in asia this is a global event with asia region focus we have participants from six continents asia australia africa europe north america south america almost all continents except antarctica 15 countries and 15 international organizations are represented here like iirc gri sasb cdsb ifac acca icgn fclt global sema foundation for global impact global compact sorry and what have you thank you all for taking time out to be a part of this first round table celebration and this is a reflection of what a strong commitment all of you have to the cause of sustainable development and particularly the respect towards the thought leadership and the work that marvin has been doing for last 40 years and as the chairman of asian center for corporate governance and sustainability's global advisory board for last 20 years thank you once again now let's begin with the proceedings i would like to start by addressing two questions why Marvin King Academy for Sustainable Development in Asia and why the theme accelerating sustainable development goals in Asia and the answer is in only one fact if you put india and china together every third person that you are going to meet on this earth will be either an indian or a chinese because as per the un data India represents 17% of the world population and China's population is equivalent to 18.47%. So both these countries put together are more than 30% of the world's population. And therefore sustainable development in the world the key to that is held by Asia and majority of these two countries are so as I told you India and China. Therefore it's logical to set up a marvin king academy for sustainable development in asia and equally logical to have the the theme for the first round table as the accelerating sdgs in asia now coming to what are we going to discuss today two reports will be the reference point for our today's round table the first one is sustainable development goals global report 2020 which was released on 7th of july 2020 and the other one is un economic and social commission for asia and pacific un escape which is called progress report 2020 which was re released on 25th march 2020 so the more focus will be on the asia report which says that asia is not on the track for three goals particularly goal 10 which is reduced inequalities goal number 12 which is responsible consumption and production and goal number 13 which is climate action all of you know that covid-19 the black swan event has derailed almost all the sdgs and targets all over the world so mr lu zemin who is the un under secretary general for economic and social affairs is the very important quote which i want to quote here the principles on which the sdgs were established are key to building back better in the post covid 19 recovery the the continued pursuit of these universal goals will keep governments focused on growth but also on three important things inclusion equity and sustainability unquote similarly from global sdg report 2020 i like to share three statistics an estimated 71 million people are expected to be pushed back into the extreme poverty in 2020 underemployment 
and unemployment due to the crisis means some 1.6 billion already vulnerable workers in the informal economy, half the global workforce may be significantly affected. And the third one is more than 1 billion slum dwellers worldwide are actually at risk from the effects of COVID-19. The report also shows that climate change is still occurring much faster than anticipated. The year 2019 was the second warmest on record. Thank you once again.